Hi guys, um, welcome to Painting with Mrs. Neville and uh, today I'm going to do this squirrel or ball. It also comes in um, my painting kits. Uh, this little canvas is five by seven. So today we're going to um, paint this little guy. So what I'm gonna do first is get paper towel paper towel ready it's always good to have paper towel on hand and in my paint kit you get napkin and your little canvas and your paint and today we are going to use brown so this paint is okay to use and get this at the dollar store or Dollarama and we are going to use a little bit of white I'll show you what I'm doing here there we go so that's my paint so far. And we're going to use, now it depends on what you want. Uh, colors of your leaves. So, don't have any orange left there. Throw that out. I have like a vermilion, which is like a reddish orange so we're going to use a little bit of that for the leaves and a little bit of black for the eyes and instead of using my big black here I'm going to use a little bit of black here because we don't need a lot um, what else do we need well we can make the sky blue or it's up to you. I'm going to choose a blue. It's a little kind of a grayish blue. It's called cobalt. So I'm going to use that. And then we can get started. So I'm going to show you step by step what I'm doing painting. So I have to loosen this a bit. And I think you can see it there. This is my first time doing this, so hopefully this works. I just have to lock it in place. I like to paint on this surface instead of using my easel because really you don't need an easel you can paint anywhere. So I'm going to have it right there like that and I'm going to use my small brush for this. I have lots of brushes. I'm going to choose a small one as soon as I find it. I'll use this one. So this one I'm going to use. It's a number five filbert. You also have to have your water ready. And I do. There's my water. See? You can wet your brush. Clean it off. It needs to be cleaned. And um, way to go. So I'm going to paint my sky first. So you can go ahead and paint your sky. But I'm going to use a bigger brush for the sky because that one's going to take me forever. So this one is a number eight. And you can see it's bigger than the other one, right? So I'm going to paint my sky and I'm going to go over, be careful that I don't go past 
the traced leaves. That could be a bit tricky. Now it's okay if you do. And you can add a little bit of water. Make it go a little further. I don't know if he's so dark. So you have to go around the squirrel. If you do go over the lines a bit, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Because um, you can go over it with the whatever you went over the line with. So you can go over with another color a couple of times. And you can go over it with a little bit of white. White is great eraser. For mistakes on canvas and I have made a lot so and a little bit of more water Oof. spread it out and we don't need the sky well, you know what? You can have like green if you want in the grass or brown. It doesn't matter. Or you can do the whole thing with a blue background, which I mean, whatever works, right? So with the kit, you get all the paint you need to paint this little canvas and make it yours with the traced little squirrel on there. We're gonna make a little bit more here because the sky, yeah, we're gonna. Now you don't have to do it exactly like me. You can do any color you want for the background. So we'll do that and then I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to wipe it in the paper towel and I'm going to leave it there. Um, now we're going to use this smaller brush to start painting my squirrel. So I'm going to get a little bit of brown and I'm going to start painting my squirrel. So what you can do is add a little bit of just a smidge of black to your brown and make it darker. So we're going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to get my light here because I trouble seeing that. There we go. It's a little bit better. And then you can go over it later with lighter brown. Now his cheeks are really big. And so we're gonna, it doesn't matter if you go over the eyes a little bit. As long as you can see where they go you have an idea of where they go. It's fine. And I'm going to make his ears. So, right now, there's his eyes and ears and cheeks. And I'm going to do his nose black. And I'm going to do his mouth a little bit black here, too. <laughs> So, um, now I'm going to mix a little bit more black and brown on my plate, and I'm going to color his body. You probably hear our neighbors mowing his grass. 
Yep. Sorry about that, guys. So try not to paint over the acorn because you might want that on a little different brown than your squirrel. So it shows up. So I got his body done. And now we're going to do his tail. His tail, oh, we have to add a little bit more. There we go, a little bit more black to the brown to make it a dark brown. That's his arm. And we're going to finish his tail. Get a little bit more paint. And continue on. Keep on going here. Try your best not to go outside of the lines. And there we go. Oh, we forgot his feet. So I want to do his paws a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little bit more black. I'm kind of dabbing my brush so it helps fill in the spots. There. That's the acorn. Now what I'm going to do is go over it with a little bit lighter so we're going to make it lighter we're going to put a little bit of brown and white together that's going to make a lighter brown and then we can do his cheeks over again there's one cheek there's two and then we're going to do his face It's part of the acorn there. I'm going to do his ears a little bit just to highlight them so you can see the difference. See, his cheeks are a little bit lighter. And what you can do is you keep you can keep on lightening up your brown if you want with a little bit of white. So when I'm lighting up, lightening it up, I'm just like dabbing my brush and I'm going like this and then I'm dabbing some paint there. All I'm doing and I'm making it light. And I want to get his body. So basically the the dark brown was like an underpainting. So we can have some shadows and shades in our squirrel. Um, I might leave the top of his tail that way. That's totally up to you what you do at this point. Um, however you want to shade him. Definitely. Okay. So I got to do his, his arms. And his hands. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. What you can do for his for his um, eyes, you can use a marker. It's a fine tip marker, so you can put his eyes in there. Just little itty bitty eyes. And you can trace over his tongue here, his face. And then you can give his little cheeks little dots and you can define his little paws, his little 
fingers. So that's what you can do for that. It doesn't hurt to use a marker. It works. Now, if you want to do his ears, because it seems like I've got his ears like kind of, you can see some what you call white spots there, vacancies. So we're going to go over with a little brush. Now the brush that comes with the kit isn't really, really big, but it's not this fine tip either. So if it's something that you want to get to add to it for your painting, that's fine. Um, but you can also use a marker to fill it in if you would like. So we're going to make the inside of his ears because they're a little bit dark, right? And then we're going to make sure all these little marks here are filled in. All these little areas that my other brush couldn't get to. So, we're going to fill in his little fingers, make them a little bit darker. There you go. And now we're going to make his arms all the way up here. Couldn't get in with the big brush, so I'm going to use a little brush. It's totally fine, whatever way you choose to do it. Well, it seems like I've got a, like, a little mistake there. Oh, we got to do the top of this, too. I don't know. And top right there. So now we're gonna fix that. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna define his feet a little bit more. I'm using a little bit darker. And for this part, like you can go over once your painting is dry, you can go over it with the marker to make his toes stand out if you want. Okay. Um Okay, I think oh, we need a little bit right here because you don't want there to be any parts that are missing. Okay, so now for the acorn, you can do just the regular brown that you got there and you don't have to make it any darker. Fill in all these white spots. I'm using my smaller brush for this. There we go. Oh, I can't see with that light. So you don't have to go over that too much. Um, I do have to go over his tail a bit. The one part because I can see a lot of white spots. Make sure you don't have any white spots. Oops, I went over the lines a bit, but that's okay. Like I said, white is a good eraser. Oh, I think that's part of the leaf. Okay, so now. No, I have to fix his cheek. I can see a little spot right here. That's um doesn't look quite right. So we're going to his cheeks are light. So we're gonna go over that and I'll show you what I mean. 
painting. See how things disappear when you paint over it? You can fix all your mistakes. And then we can mark in those little dots again, if need be. Okay, um, I'm gonna paint over this again a little bit, just to fill in some spots. now it's time for the leaves so I'm using this one but you don't have to um, actually I might use a different brush one's a little bit smaller this one here so I'm gonna use my uh, vermilion red and I'm gonna go over the leaves here You can use whatever color you want. Orange. I can't remember what colors I've got in my kit. But I think I have orange, red, brown. I might have yellow. So, totally up to you what colors. And, um, I'm not going to do them all red. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with a Another color, um, I'm going to use yellow, it's a fairly good yellow, it says lemon custard, we shall see what it's like, I put way too much on there, way too much, okay, so now we're going to do yellow for the other leaf. With some bright colors. Try not to go over the stuff you have painted. Now, I think I'll use the yellow for this and fill in this leaf up here. Uh, what other colors? I can use green, I guess. No, I don't want to use green because I have green there. This is a dark yellow. Funny. Okay, this is called yellow ochre. This is like one of my favorite colors. See how this is a bit different? So, This one, and I'll probably do the one down on the bottom, the one that's left. I'll do that one in yellow ochre too. Um, you can see the stencil in there, and you can leave it like that because, you know, leaves do have what they call veins in them. The little lines. So you can leave them. I think I'll leave them. We have two more acorns to do. I might leave, make those a little bit lighter. 
Now, what you can do with those other leaves, too, is you can um, make the yellow a little bit lighter with mixing your white. And let's see what kind of color comes out of there. A little bit lighter. You, can, you don't want your lines to really show, if, like on the edges, but that's okay. If they do, that's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Make sure you got it all colored in though, and that works. So, now for the other acorns, I'm going to make them a little bit lighter, I think, by adding my white and my brown. And I want to paint these ones different. And I can go right into that one because it's right on top. Right on top. <clears throat> Mix up a little bit more because we're only using little bits here. So do this and what I'm going to do with the acorn is do something a little bit different so I'm going to um, use some darker to fill in the top and so when we mix dark again we're going to mix a little bit of brown a tiny bit of black a little bit more than that. We're going to mix it together and just a smidge as you see that I'm doing like just a little bit. So we're going to do that. We're going to paint the tops of them this color. Now that's totally up to you if you want to do that. You don't have to. Totally up to you. I'm showing you just in case you wanted to do that, and I can't see the top. I think it's this way. And then we're going to do this one. There we go. Dog is barking. I have to let him out. There you go. What helps to fill in, make it a little bit watery. Add your water. Help fill in some of those white marks. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of water. You don't want it too runny. So, now, um, I think I'm gonna do like brown grass. So I'm gonna dab. No, it's a lot of brown. Dab. See? This is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my brush. Not very much. And I'm going to dab. Dab. And you don't have to fill in all the spots. We're just kind of like, see, I'm dabbing just a little bit on my brush. And then I'm going to do this. You don't have to like fill in perfectly because we're giving the illusion of ground grass. So.
and then I'm going to show you what we can add to it. This is just the base. And I'm dabbing it on my plate just to get the excess off so it doesn't look so, so gloopy. It's a strange word, eh? Gloopy. Or goopy. There are piles of it on your canvas and you don't need that so that'll just make it very messy a little bit more and we're dabbing so now what we can do is we can take some of the yellow ochre or yellow yellow would work too so we'll do both and then we're just going to dab that and then we're going to go over top and make it like See, it's a little bit, some depth into it, some shade. This is what we're gonna do. So if you have yellow, you can just take the yellow and just go like this. That doesn't hurt either. See, makes it a little bit different. Gives it a little bit of depth to it and some shadows. And it doesn't look like everything else, right? So you can see I have a little bit of space there. White spots. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a bigger brush. So I think you guys have one that's like a little bit like this, I'd say about half. That'll work okay for this. And I'm just gonna go over my sky again. So I'm filling in some of these white spots. Careful not to go over my, my uh, squirrel or uh, the leaves. And I'm spreading it out. I'm gonna add a little bit of water on my brush so it spreads out it's a little bit easier. And then you can go this way with your brush. And this way. Uh, too much. Too much water. Not enough paint. There we go. Oops. So you have to be careful if you are um, painting and you're keep on putting strokes in there and going over and over and over it again. It's going to um, come off your canvas. So let it dry first and then you can fix up anything you need. Or you can use a trick like a blow dryer which works really well. Oops, see? Some of my paint is coming off there in spots. Now if you want, you can make clouds. Um, you can use a dip, uh, you can use your brush. Uh, it's about the size of this one, I'd say. So you can make clouds and you can go like this. You're just dabbing and you're just making clouds like that. See? And then make another one. Or you can make a sun. It's totally up to you. It's your painting. See? Looks like clouds, hey? There we go. There's a few clouds. There's my... There's my squirrel. He's done. I'm going to dry him now with the heat gun. And uh, just a little quick dry. He's mostly dry. And I think I'll go over my uh, clouds again real quick. Make 
make them a little bit lighter here because they kind of blend in with the blue. There we go. Okay, so make sure when you're done, you are rinsing off your brushes in the water and you're drying them on your paper towel and then you put them away because you can keep those brushes if you have an art kit from me. Um, and uh, then you'll have brushes to use from now on, right? So, there we go. So mine are all done. And I'm going to lift this up. Okay, so that's it. We are done the squirrel. Don't forget to sign. That marker that you have, you can sign your name for that. Your initials or your name. So mine is right there. And that's my squirrel. So there you go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, next time, which hopefully the sometime this week, we'll be painting a spider and uh, some more Halloween pictures uh, for the month of October. So um, yeah, I hope you really had fun. I had fun trying to teach you how to paint the squirrel. And you'll be able to get uh, the tracer to trace it on if you don't have one of my art kids. You can trace it on uh, Canvas at home. And um, I'll have the tracer in the description below for you guys to uh, download. Okay, thanks. See you later, guys.